I love sketchbooks. I, I really do, believe it or not. Cool. Hi, my name is Grace, and today I'll be given a little bit of a, a sketchbook tour. So this is my fifth and most recent sketchbook that I just finished. I've been keeping them since sixth grade, and this is my sophomore year sketchbook. Um, I think keeping a sketchbook is super great. I think it's really nice to have somewhere to do exercises, to explore visual concepts, just to kind of mess around in a space that is set aside and organized, but also not with all the pressure of like a legitimate piece. It's just somewhere to have some fun. <laughs> That's a terrible way to put it, but I'm gonna stop talking before I say anything worse than that. So let's just get right into it. All right, let's get, let's get into it. So right off the bat, we've got the first page. I started with some little Prisma drawings. This one came out weird, but it's all good. This is gouache with Prisma over it, and then I wrote down that this was 150 gram paper because I'm used to paper being measured in pounds, but this paper was in grams per square meter. So made a note of that for future reference because I am a paper nerd. Um, some little drawings, just practicing kind of drawing full bodies because I don't do that too often. Here I practice drawing some little goats for a birthday card I was doing. They came out pretty cute, I like them. Um, color notes, you'll see so many color notes because I absolutely love color theory and one of the things that I'm really into is the color green. I believe that green is the best color in color theory just objectively. Is it my favorite color? No, but it's the best one, and this is just kind of notes on that. I have a whole argument, but <laughs> we're going to keep this short. <laughs> so this is the day that Bezos went to space, so I, I drew some of our infamously questionable billionaires that we've got. Bezos, Zuckerberg, and Gates. I like the kind of lizardy thing that he's got going on. That was, that was fun to do. Over here, oh my gosh, I've seen all these paintings and such of like the cats that are just like the black void with the two little eyes, the little ring eyes, and I wanted to give give that a go and see what I could do with that idea. I think it came out kind of cute. Oh, this is when we went on vacation to see family at the beach. So I have stuff from the hotel we stayed at on the way there in New Orleans, and then I have stuff from looking out over balcony at the condo. Oh, okay, so this this page. Um, I do take my sketchbook to school, and this page is always met with the most interest, we'll say. I, I realized that I didn't really know how to draw feet, so I decided to do a whole spread of it just to kind of get it in my head. My search history had been thoroughly scarred by the end of this, so there's that. So there's shirt design planning for, um, I'm one of our class officers, so we do stuff like that. Piece planning, fruit stickers. Oh, this, these are drawings of my dog, it's one of my friend's dogs, and there's a little gouache of my dog and I. He's, he's wonderful, he's the loveliest little guy. This is when I was brainstorming for rodeo because I live in Texas and we do rodeo art every year. And I was gonna try to do something a little quirky. I didn't end up going with this idea, but I still like it. And I think the colors here are kind of fun. Okay, this I did this in my art class when I didn't have anything to do. So I'm still very much thinking about rodeo with the chickens. I had an animation project, the little, there was a frog in my animation project, so I decided to practice that. A car selfie with my sister from the summer. This was for, I'm one of our officers for the National Art Honor Society too, and we were designing our shirt, and this is actually the design we ended up using, so it's cool to, to look back and see it. More class officer things, glass case measurements, more little drawings. This is a character from a TV show, Arrested Development, that I really liked, and and no one I've spoken to has seen it, and it's the most disappointing thing. <laughs> All right, these, this is actually funny. I did these in my chemistry class. So that's me and my little blue light glasses, and these are just a bunch of really wretched hands. They were fun, though. Um, whoa, I keep, I keep kicking the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
Oh, and this, I, I really like this. It's like an overlay with like a body and like a skeleton. I think it's cool. I like the way it lines up and all. So the way I did that, I did this first and then put this over and did it so that it line up right. There's some color over there. Edward Cullen, because I'm obsessed with Twilight beyond all reason. <laughs> Not even ironically anymore, it's kind of sad. <laughs> um, the Green Brothers, because who doesn't love a good Crash Course episode? More color theory notes. I, I'm a sucker for color theory. It's, it's just so fun. I, oh, and also this, this is a little clipping from a wristband from Band Spaghetti Night. Our high school band did a fundraiser and I saved my little thing from that. Just as like a memento storyboard with this witch character that I was working on for something. She comes back later in the book. She's, she's nice. This was people on Instagram telling me what to draw. This is one of my friend's dogs and he's just so sassy in this picture. I love it. Um, little drawing of my room from where I was in my bed with the doors and all. I do this again later in the book and it actually came out a lot nicer that time. More planning, more planning. I think this was in the car. Sticker from the first art museum in Nashville. This is um, one of the band directors at my high school. A bunch of my friends are in the band and they were, they had that picture from I think a Zoom call, but they were talking about it. So I ended up drawing it and I actually really kind of like the colors here um, and just how they lay and build. And you can't really tell on camera, but there's like a lot of like blue in the shadows, which I think is really fun. I, I've said that word so many times. That's what I'm describing everything like. I'm just saying, it's fun. It's fun. Everything's fun. I need to stop. More little things. I think I did these in the car on the way to the airport. And I did these on the airplane when we were going to Nashville. Little butterflies over here. They're fun. Planning out an oil painting. More color theory notes. This time on the color blue. We've got kind of a blue thing going on here. Oh, and that's my little sister on the plane. She's lovely. This is her again, but as a smaller, smaller child than she is momentarily at the moment. Um, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to keep going. So this was fall semester finals. Um, I started a little writing thing on the color green because once again, color nerd. Claude Oscar Monet, love him. He's the best. I'm a, I am a, an impressionist fangirl way more than I should be it's my friend Cole more color notes this is more personal analysis than like writing down factual information this was something that I did for my high school theater department um when they did little women I did a portrait for that this is more planning but for AP studio art next year this is planning for an animation thing that I'm working on. And then this is the ticket from um, our, my high school's winter play. Winter? Autumn? I don't know, but it was, it was cute. They did, a, they did a nice job. It's me schedule planning. <laughs> oh, this is the witch character from earlier making a little comeback. She's, she's cute with her little cat and her flowers and all. More peace planning. Um, more planning for an animation project that I was working on that you'll see more of on the next page. And this is fun. I like all the little textures and the whimsical kind of thing going on here. Um, oh, and this was, this is the, the animation project that I spoke about on the last page. It was like live action and we had to have an animation going over it, which was something really fun. I had a lot of fun just like building a backstory for this character. Oh, and this is um, the room study that I did when I did, like, another, uh, when I did a room study again. And this one actually came out a lot better, I think. It's got my crusty feet. Ugh. <laughs> there are too many feet in here. It's more stuff. This is a picture that I took of the whiteboard in my English class, but I ended up drawing the people in it, which, ooh, D. 
doodles, straight into pen stuff. I messed up on the foot. A sticky note. Oh, and these are some some blue bunnies. Mm, it's funny because the ice cream. It's my dad in the Lowe's garden section. I had a lot of fun with this page. I don't know. I think it's cute. Just like the colors and how it's kind of soft. This is more planning, just an insufferable amount of planning because that's most of what this book is, let's face it. Just so much planning. Oh, this was for a project in my health class. That was a, a lot of fun. It was supposed to be like anti-drug because we were on our substances unit playing the Wordle. Yeah, but this actually came out really nice. And then this was Rodeo came through, so this is a picture of me in my cowboy hat. Some of that. I like doing these silly little Prisma, Prisma color sketches. I can't use Prisma color in the nice way that I've seen other people do it. I just use it for my junky little color sketches. This is when I went to a state art event and had my little things written down. Here I got a new dress I really liked, so I drew it. <laughs> Planning out my world history project, and that's my friend Will right there. All drawn in pen, which drawing in pen is, is something that I need to do more of, but <laughs> we're getting there. And this is more for my world history project. We've got Alexander Fleming and Gloria Steinem, just some prominent historical figures, you know. Oh, and this was the state art event, but whenever I was actually going and I was on the bus, this is just stuff I drew on the bus. And then this is in the bus with the seats and the people in front of me all labeled. So that was fun. And then at the thing, I ended up, I ended up doing this one workshop where you competed to, like, win. And these are some of the thumbnails from that as you can tell from right there, but I actually, I won that. That was, that was nice, and I made a little note. <laughs> um, that was a nice day. That's, we had a chem sub, and I drew her, I think I looked at her for a little bit too long that day, and I freaked her out. Fried brain, just kind of getting to the end of the school year and feeling kind of, like, frazzled, you know? Oh, this is more planning for AP Studio Art next year just what I want my concentration to be. I'm thinking escapism, so I can get kind of a fantasy, whimsical kind of vibe going in some of my pieces. And then this was, I did all this in my world history class after we'd taken the AP exam and we were just watching movies, so I didn't have much else to do. This is for class officers designing the shirt for next year, junior year. This was almost the shirt design, but, um, you know, didn't work out. I don't know why, though. Oh, I meant to go back and paint this, but I never ended up actually doing it. Notes on Mary Cassett, who, oh my gosh, she's just one of my favorites. This is more stuff that I had people on Instagram tell me to draw. Johnny Depp, because the trial was at an all-time high. Lovely capybara. Why your ragdoll is so mean. That's a joke I have with one of my friends. More, more Instagram requested things. I think these are two girls from Bridgerton. Um, my dog in a suit, which I really hate this image. I hate this one too, that's disturbing. But anyways, <laughs> mm, this is from the last day of sophomore year, which, which was fun. A little drawing that I never finished right there. Yeah, this was, um, a animated film that I was going to do, but then I came up with a different idea and ditched it. Oh, I went on a walk um, a few weeks ago, I guess, and drew on my walk. That's me slouched over doing my little drawings. And then this is just from the airplane when we went to Mexico. There's my little boarding pass in there. Oh, and this is um, a project that I'm working on right now for animation that um, it's currently July and I'm hoping to be done in January. So there's that, I'm doing frame by frame. So wish me luck there. Oh, okay, I did these yesterday. I think the colors here are really fun and it's like cyan, magenta, yellow, just the little digital primaries. Having fun with that and I was watching Anchorman with my mom. I made a little note. 
Oh, okay, and I recently watched Stranger Things, and I did some fan art for that. This scene, if you've seen it, at the snowball. Oh my gosh, that's the one scene in the entire show that made me cry. It was, oh. We got Robin and Dustin, and I've got this little, like, Demi Gorgon coming out of this, like, funky patch. And he's, like, popping out of the page, which I thought was fun. Yeah. Oh, and this, last drawing in the book. This is a redraw of something I did in my last sketchbook. Trashy Beach Romance, too. I don't know. I just wanted to close off the same way I'd closed off my last one. And then, last page, I say my goodbye and I draw a little door. And that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.